If you decide to use crossplane, as you should, you're almost certainly going to discover compositions and you're going to fall in love with compositions because they allow us to compose different resources, potentially from different providers, group them together and expose them through composite resource definitions. Compositions are absolutely amazing, but they might be a bit overwhelming and hard to manage unless we figure out how to package them. So that's what we are going to do today. We are going to explore crossplane packaging mechanism. My name is Victor and this is Upbound. We are a company behind your favorite tool, Crossplane. Instead of me starting with theory and explaining what packages are and what they are and so on and so forth, let me jump into a hands-on demo and show you firsthand what the problem is and how packages can solve that problem. But before I do that, let me tell you that there is a gist with all the commands that I will execute and the link to the gist is in the description, so check it out if you want to reproduce what I'm doing. So here we go. I'm going to go to the directory where I have a composition defined, which is k-test. This is where I keep my composition for creating and managing different types of Kubernetes clusters. And the definition is relatively simple and straightforward. I'm defining, let me find it here we are, a composite resource definition that will be converted into custom resource definition that anybody who wants to manage and create Kubernetes clusters can use. It has a couple of properties nothing really special. I will not explain in detail how this composite resource definition works, nor how compositions work in general. If you're not familiar with compositions, I will leave a link to a video or two that explain compositions in more detail. For now, I just want to show you that yes, I do have composite resource definition, and I have implementations of that composite resource definition, one for EKS, here it is, it's a huge one, huge one, that implements everything that I need to run successfully a cluster in AWS, EKS cluster in AWS, which contains not only AWS resources, but also all the software that should be running on those clusters, you know, the must-have software and stuff like that. And then I have the same thing more or less for EKS, if I want to run a cluster in Azure, AKS cluster, and then I have GK implementation, here we are, and I even have a cluster in Sivo. Here it is. So those are different compositions that are all implementing the same cross-plane resource definition, but there are a couple of problems with that. First of all, I need to apply all that YAML. All those hundreds and hundreds of lines of YAML need to be applied. I tend to use Argo CD or Flux to simplify that, but still, there are quite a few files that need to be applied. And it becomes even more complicated if I want to distribute this to others. If I would like other people to use this, I need to pass all those YAML files to them or potentially give them a link to a GitHub repository and so on and so forth. It would be so much easier if I could just say, hey, instead of those hundreds and hundreds of lines of YAML, you should just write those four or five lines that will create all those definitions in your Kubernetes cluster. In other words, I would like to package all that into something that is easier to distribute. Fortunately, Crossplane has a mechanism to do just that. It allows us to package all that as container images or OCI images. And that's what I'm going to do right now. And it's fairly easy. Simplicity is the key here. All I have to do is define one file, a couple of lines of YAML, and execute one, two commands. That's it. And from there on, I will have my compositions packaged as an image. And from the user's perspective, everything will be much simpler. So let's get going. Let me show you that configuration file first. Cut crossplane YAML. So this is a configuration that will ultimately result in a package. It is called KTS because this is about wrapping all my compositions that are implementing different Kubernetes clusters in different providers. The minimum crossplane version is 1.5, simply because I tested it with 1.5. It should probably work in earlier versions as well. And then there are a couple of dependencies. This one depends on provider AWS, GCP, and Helm. Actually, there are other dependencies. You do not really have to list all the dependencies as long as you have dependent providers installed in your cluster where Crossplane is running, you should be fine. The good thing about dependencies is that those listed here will be installed unless they're already running in your cluster. So right now I don't have GCP installed in my cluster, I do have AWS. Once I apply the package based on this configuration, I will get immediately GCP provider running in my cluster as well. So what will happen is that this configuration will tell Crossplane to package everything that is in the current directory. And what I have in the current directory is this. I have all the compositions that are wrapped around Crossplane resource definition that I use 
for managing my Kubernetes clusters in different providers. So all those will be packaged as an OCI image once I execute the command, and the command is following kubectl crossplane build. I want to build a configuration. I could build the provider as well, but in this case I'm building configuration, and that will be called KTS. That's just the name, and that's about it. That's all it took, and as a result, I got KATS XPKG. This is the package itself that we are going to convert into an OCI image. And from there on, we'll be able to use it instead of all this YAML file. Instead of distributing all this, we will be able to use an image. And that's absolutely awesome. So let me push this to a container registry. I will use Docker Hub, but you can push it anywhere you want. And we can do that with kubectl crossplane push uh, configuration. And uh, it, the address is going to be dh user. This is my Docker Hub user, and it's going to be called crossplane uh, ktes, and the version is going to be 014, let's say. And there we are. Now this is pushed to Docker Hub, in my case, and from now on I can use it. That's all I have to do to provide the distribution of my compositions. Now from the user perspective, imagine that I'm now a different person and that Victor, the previous Victor, tells me, hey, would you like to use my compositions? Would it be useful if you use the compositions that I created? And the answer would be, yeah, because your compositions are great, they're awesome, excellent. So how can I use somebody else's compositions packaged as OCI images. All I have to do is tell Crossplane to use that configuration packaged as an image. And I can do that by going uh, back to where I was and showing you yet another file, which is in this case in Crossplane config, uh, config KTS. Here we are, right? I'm going to tell Crossplane to fetch configuration stored in an image. And that image is the same one that I pushed. So I do not need to apply all those compositions separately. I do not need to search for a Git repository where they are and so on and so forth. I can just say, hey, there is an image, this one, and you should use that image to apply all the compositions and install all the providers that are dependencies of those compositions. And that's all I have to do. So that's what I am going to do. I'm going to say kubectl apply dash dash file name and then crossplane config uh, and config ktes. So imagine that this is not me, this is a different me, this is a different person that wants to use all the compositions made by somebody else, and those compositions are packaged in a container image, and I'm about to apply all those, no matter how many of them there are, and I'm going to install all the dependent providers, and that's about it. That was only five or six lines of YAML. There we go. It was created and I can prove it to you by executing kubectl get pkg uh, rev. Those are all the revisions of all the packages that I have in my cluster. And I should be able to see it where it is. Health is unknown right now. It might take a few more seconds to install everything. Let's repeat. See that it found three dependencies uh, Two of them are already installed. It's still installing one of the dependencies. It is installing one of the providers. Let's see. Oh yeah, I think now it will work. There we go. It is healthy, so all the compositions were installed. They were all applied. And dependencies of those compositions were installed as well. We can see that three dependencies were found in that package, in that configuration, and all of them are installed. Some of them might have been installed before and then Crossplane did nothing, but those that are missing were installed as part of this uh, package. And I can prove it to you that it all works by applying this. Let me do an example of AWS CKS. Here we are. This is an example implementation of a cluster claim that is defined in those compositions, or to be more precise, as a crossplane resource definition. You probably saw this in one of my previous videos. I use this example quite a lot, except that this time everything is packaged as an OCI image. And I can do cube, cuttle, uh, dash dash namespace, a team, and I want to apply dash dash file name, examples, aws, eks, dot yaml. And there we are. I'm creating the claim, and that claim, let me show you, kubectl get managed, and that claim will apply 
the composition again that was packaged as an image and that composition creates all my resources all the resources that i need in aws it will take a while i will not bore you there is no need to wait until this is all done because it takes like 25 30 minutes to create everything in aws what does matter is that i just showed you how to package your compositions into an oci image so that you can easily distribute it across your organization you can even include those configuration packages in other in the nested compositions but that will be the subject of one of the next videos thank you so much for watching see you next time